It was 1979. The Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. Three's Company was a popular U.S. sitcom. And the Smashing Pumpkins had just released their hit song, 1979. That's not correct. We'll erase that part. I've always had my eyes open for a 1979 Fender guitar. And then this happened. What is this guitar? Like I mentioned, I've always had my eyes open for a 1979 Fender guitar. Now my first choice would have been a Telecaster, but they're really hard to find online. So I saw this 1979 Fender Stratocaster listed on Reverb. It was lightweight, all original, and in excellent condition. It even came with the original case, the original strap, which is made of leather and metal at the time. I don't plan on using that strap. I have a modern version, so I'm gonna keep that strap as is. It even came with the original paperwork. The manuals, the tags, the receipts, the warranty card information, everything. The extra tremolo springs are even sealed in a paper envelope. The price looked fair. I won't tell you exactly what I paid for it, but I made an offer below asking and it was accepted. If you want to see the moment when I unboxed it, check out my other video. So why 1979? Much like this guitar, I was born in 1979. Shout out to mom and dad. Now I just made this awkward, but that's what I do. In general, the 70s get a bad rap for Fender and Gibson gear, not some of their finest instruments. Many are heavy, poorly made, and in fact, there was a 1979 25th anniversary Strat with faulty finish that they had to recall because it would crack. But I found a good one. The listing was super detailed with close-up images, and it had all the specs listed, so I knew exactly what I was getting before I bought it. So I might ask where I got it, and who did I get it from? I bought this through Reverb Seller at a store called Imperial Vintage Guitars. They have three locations in the United States. They're based in California. They're in Burbank, Sherman Oaks, and Orange. So I have no connection with them, but I like to recognize good companies that do good work. So check them out. And if you're looking for a birthier guitar or anything else used, you can use my Reverb affiliate link if you want. So I said the guitar was light, but what exactly does that mean? So have a look. Maybe that doesn't seem too impressive until you compare it to other guitars that were made in the 70s. I doubt you'll find one this light. Let's take a quick look at the pickup resistance. If you're curious about the neck, I also took multiple neck measurements. It's a thicker neck for sure. It's not super thick. It's not like a 50s fat, but it's got some thickness to it. So as far as radius, I assumed it was the standard 7.25 inch radius for that time period. The more I played it, the less I was convinced that it was a 7.25. It plays so well. The setup is fantastic. So I finally did a measurement of the radius and it is 7.25. Now let's take a look inside. Everything is stock and original. There's quite a lot of oxidation buildup on the switch and there's a little bit on the pots. I plan to clean that up in the future. I'll just run the guitar through the dishwasher. Other than the oxidation, everything is in awesome condition. The poly finish has a few scuff marks on certain areas, little ding on the headstock, but otherwise this guitar is almost in mint condition. I've never seen another 1979 Fender Stratocaster in such good shape. So here's my random observations, what I've noticed about the guitar. It's super light. It's got a really nice neck. It's got some good thickness to it. Plays really well. The setup is awesome. Imperial Vintage Guitars did a great job setting it up. It plays amazingly well. It doesn't fret out at the higher frets. It's all original. And the paperwork was an amazing surprise. I did not expect that at all. That was really cool. Uh, the pickups sound great. The neck position is my favorite. The bridge pickup is my least favorite and has that typical Stratocaster ice picky sound. So it's probably one that I won't use that much. And 
a 7.25 inch radius neck with a great setup, super easy to play, no problem. So, a 1979 Fender Stratocaster, I love it. What is your birth year dream guitar? Let me know. All right, until the next video, play guitar and have fun.